everybody. It's your boy Razor Ramon the Barber. And I'm back with another fragrance review. Yeah, man, I'm back with another fragrance review. Currently, at the shooting of this video, we sitting at 598 subscribers. Two away from 600. So I need y'all to do your boy a favor. Yeah, man, I need y'all to do your boy a favor. I need you to like. I need you to share. I need you to comment. And I need you to subscribe. Yeah, man. I need you to do that for your boy. So when we get to 600, we gonna worry about 700. All right, man, keeping the fragrance and the, um, the shoe collaboration going, we gonna hop into five fragrances that go great with Cherry Red 11. Five fragrances that go great with Cherry Red 11. But before we hop into these five fragrances, y'all know how we do on the channel. Got a Corona tonight, man. <laughs> Cheers, Chico. All right, y'all. We're going to hop right into it. And the first up is from the House of True Religion. And it's none other than True Religion Drifter. True Religion Drifter. And I like this phrase. I picked this up from Ross about two years ago, man. Nice animizer. This is fruity, woody, sweet, with some citrus, fresh, um, aquatic, a um, little pottery too. Really like this fragrance though, man. Ginger, blackberry, pear, grapefruit, and cardamom in the opening. And the opening this is mm, it's sweet. Um, it's fruit sweet, not like candy sweet, but like fruit juice sweet, with a little with a little pepperiness from um, the ginger. But the blackberry is nice. If you ever ate like a blackberry pie or like blackberry cobbler, that's what it kind of um, it reminds me of, that that sweetness from that blackberry. Uh, the pear, uh, then you got a little zest, zing from the, the grapefruit and the cardamom up top. Middle notes are apricot, water notes, juniper berry, and rosemary. And apricot is a nice taste because apricot is sweet, um, this is very sweet, sweet fruit, um, kind of like a, a, a peach texture, um, but it's like a, it's kind of like an orange a little bit. It's just weird, but apricot is real sweet. It's nice, man. Um, watery notes, you got juniper berries and roseberries, and on the dry down, you got some sandalwood, gogak wood, amber, and vetiver, man. This is a nice fragrance, man, um, and when I think of the cherry red 11s, I think of fruity fragrances. There's many ways you can play uh, play off the cherry red 11s, man. But most of the time, you see most people, uh, you know, they, they dress it real casual. You know, they got on jeans, white t-shirt, hoodie, you know, uh, button up, something like that, man. So the first fragrance that come to my mind out of my collection is True Religion Drifter. True Religion Drifter. Let's see, can we get that to flow? All right. Next fragrance we're going to hop into from the house of um, Halloween Man and it's Halloween Man. Halloween Man. And I like this fragrance, man. I like this fragrance. It's um, vanilla. Got some citrus. Hell of an animals on it. Out of um, leathery on the dry down. You guys, very, very aromatic. It's sweet. Kind of remind me of... Um, it kind of remind this remind me of, of one million in a sense. Don't smell like one to one, but it reminds me a lot of one million. They got that one million sweetness to it. Uh, opening notes are martini, violet leaf, mandarin orange, and basil. And the martini leaf gives this like a a, a fruity, uh, a fruity kind of zest, a fruity kind of uh, pop, a fruity kind of. Uh, uh, twang to it, like a. You know how you take you you, sm you, you drink like a fruity uh, alcoholic beverage, even though it still got the alcohol on the back end to it. Like the the top end to it is real fruity. You got mandarin and basil, um, and in the mid notes you got some cinnamon, lavender. You got ginger flower, 
orange blossom and on the dry down man you got vanilla uh amber leather and musk again man this is like uh this probably reminds me of uh one million like 85 to like 90 percent man it smells like one million uh one million of course is gonna have a, is a little bit denser but this right here man is nice man reminds me of one million and that's halloween man all right next fragrance we're gonna hop into is from the club in the wheat line and there's none other than their version of Baccarat Rouge 540. And it's Club de Nuit Untold. Club de Nuit Untold. Beautiful bottle, man. And, you know, this is not a uh, one-to-one -one with Baccarat. This is a lot more aromatic. This is a lot more lighter. Um, you don't get as uh, much saffron heavy in the top. But nevertheless, man, this smells like Baccarat Rouge. Like, uh, like 90% Baccarat. This is amber. Uh, some white floors, warm, woody, uh, tight vibes, man. Top notes, saffron, jasmine. Uh, middle notes are amberwood, ambercris, and dry down is basil. I mean, excuse me, fur resin and cedar. Again, man, this is 90, uh, 95. This is like 90% baccarat rouge, man. So you need uh, baccarat rouge on a budget. Uh, you ain't trying to spend that, that that 300 and up, man. Don't be shame, man. Try this out, man, for under 50 bucks, man. I think you're gonna like it. I'll say a lot of people, uh, to be safe, I'll say you might like it, but nine times out of 10, who hasn't smelt the, the Baccarat DNA by now? You know what you're getting into. Um, burnt sugar, um, jasmine saffron, some woody notes, man. You know what Baccarat is, man. Ain't much to say that ain't been said. Uh, Baccarat root on a budget, man to go with them cherry red 11s, man, because a lot of times like, you just got them cherry reds, man. You, you, you ain't got three, four hundred more dollars. Most people don't to go get that, uh, that Baccarat. <laughs> All right, next fragrance is from the house of Mason Alhambra. And y'all know I had to put this in there. Uh, Lovely Cherie. Lovely Cherie. And it's their version of, come on, man, focus, there we go. It's their version of Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And this is, man, it's like 95%, man, this is, man, I love this stuff, man. Sweet, sweet, cherry, almond, nutty, ambery, warm, um, vanilla-y, balsamic. This is a dope fragrance, man. Love this fragrance. Uh, top notes, bitter almond with some rose, and it's not a, a dry rose, it's more of a Turkish um, wet floral rose. Uh, mid notes are cherry, black cherry, and amber, and dry down notes on uh, Tonka Bean, Tofi, and Peru Basam. Man, this is a nice fragrance, man. You really get that double doses of cherry, um, that warmness of the amber, the sweetness of the, uh, the Tonka Bean gives off a vanilla accord. This is dope, man. You got the bitter almond up top that gives you this nutty, warm, cream um, vibe, man. This is a dope fragrance, man. Less than 35 bucks, man. You can smell like uh, 90 to 95 percent Tom Ford. Ain't nobody gonna walk past you and be like, "Hey, man, you got on um, Mason or Humbre, don't you?" <laughs> nah, man, they don't work like that. Most people gonna say you smell good. A lot of people that be giving these um, high dollar advice uh, fragrances to buy on social media, they don't even have it themselves. And I'm not talking about the, the frag heads. I'm talking about when somebody put up a post and be like, hey man, I'm looking to get a new fragrance. What fragrance should I buy? And people hop in there, oh, you need to get Creed. You need to get Tom Ford. You need to get, man, these people don't have, these people don't, nine times out of 10, they have never smelled it. They don't even own it. And if they have smelled it, it's been like Dillard's and uh, Macy's. Don't let these people gas you up, man. Um, you can smell great on a budget. Nothing wrong with those fragrances, but uh, you, the average person, you put on Nanaka Blue, man, and you get 40 compliments. You put on Creed Adventures and you might get two. <laughs> it's just the way it works, man. Number four fragrance, uh, Lovely Cherie. My bad for my rant. <laughs> last fragrance, last fragrance that we're gonna hop into is none other from the house of Latafa, and that is uh, Body Au Sublime. Body Au Sublime. Let me get this in focus. Man, this is uh, Red Jolly Rancher. Uh, 
wrapped in rolls, man. As my brother Dedrick L. Hicks say, this is a Hawaiian punt uh, and rolls. This is beautiful, man. Love this fragrance. Fruity, fresh, um, rolls, sweet, some tropical vibes to it. Top note to apple, lychee, rolls, mid notes of plum, jasmine, and base notes of moss, vanilla, and patchouli, man. This is sweet. This is thick. This is dense. It's rich, man. Well blended fragrance, man. You can pick up on the rose, but you can pick up on the apple. I'm not gonna sit here in front and act like I ever smelled lychee in real life, cause I haven't. But uh, when I read um, the description of it, I'm like, oh, that's what that is. Cause you can smell this, some sweet. I'm like, I never, I never smelled that before. It's real sweet, it's pleasant. I'm like, oh, lychee, that's what it is. But you get that sweetness and that juiciness of the plum too, man, mixed with that white floor of the jasmine. And on the dry down, man, it's just a nice uh, cream, um, vanilla, smooth uh, dry down, man. This is a really uh, pleasant fragrance, man, from opening to finish, man. And that is Body Au Sublime. Body Au Sublime. There we go. All right, man, and that's five fragrances that I would wear or that I recommend with the Cherry Red 11s, man. So if you got the Cherry Red 11s, put comment down below if you got the Cherry Red 11s in any of these fragrances, or if you got the Cherry Red 11s and you plan on grabbing any of these fragrances, man. I think you I think you can't go wrong, man, with any one of them. Let everybody know in the comment section below, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. I thank y'all for the support. Two away from 600. As always, until next time, it's the transmission. Thank you.